Welcome to another tips, review, and tutorial. So for today, we're going to learn how to put images, text, links, and videos to Google Slides without the students having to be transferred to another website. Some call it the escape room or the interactive Google Deck, but I want to call it everything in Google Slide. So I will make this sample Google Slide available for you to copy just click on the link below the description and don't forget to hit like subscribe and ring the bell so you will be notified with my upcoming videos this is just a generic virtual library for the students and all the books that i put in here are in third grade level Okay, so this is how everything in Google Slides works. So before, what I usually do is put the videos and tasks in Google Classroom individually. Or if I am in Google Slide, I will link the videos in the Google Slide. But now, I basically put everything in Google Slides including videos before sharing it to Google Classroom. And these are just some tips before you start your Google Slide. The first one is link the slide to itself so that even if the students keep clicking on the slides, it will not bring them anywhere. Use insert shape to link images because remember we can only link um, shapes and text but not images embed videos rather than paste the link and this is the most important part when you share it to google classroom make sure to tell the students to click the present mode before they browse through your virtual library okay so let me just show you how i usually do it before so when i go to google classroom i assign both the video and the task that they will need to do so we will try to put this both on google slide and then just upload the google slide later so this is the sample google slide i made and we will try to link everything in here even answer keys the video so what i do first is i put all the images that i need before linking them to each other let's start with insert images and you can directly search it from the web most of these images i got this from the insert images but if there's not like for instance the books because these are not always available what i do is i go to where my resource is click print screen the prtsc on your keyboard go back to your google slide and then just paste it you crop crop it and just get the image that you need so now that you have all the images in your landing page you may now go ahead and finish the other pages i want it that when they click on this book they will go to slide two and this is where i put the text okay so just click print screen go to here and then paste it and then crop it once they click this they will go to slide three this is just a self-assessment task so i just wrote here read and think of the answers when you're ready click the check mark and it will bring them to slide four and then the answer key is here there will be an icon here that will say click to return to the library and they will be brought back to the landing page now let me just show you how i embedded this video go to wherever the, the source of your video copy the link go back to google slide and instead of linking the text you go to insert video that's where you put the video link so it will be embedded on the slide itself okay so how did i link all this into one slide remember a while ago we said we have to link the slide to itself so how are we going to do that we click on the insert shape and then put a box it's not transparent so we will make that transparent fill color will be transparent right click it there should be something here that says link and we will link it to itself so we will say slide one go to the second slide as well do the same insert shape 
Okay, now make it transparent and then link it. Then slide two, since this is slide two. And then do the same for all the slides. Now, if you are done linking all the slide to itself, we will now link the images. So, let's say, let's start with this one. Click Insert, Shape, and right-click, link it. Whichever slide you want them to go to, when they click on this one, that's what you choose. This is for the video part, so this is slide. Five. Okay, and then apply. Click link and change this to for slide three. The closet creature. Then apply. So do the same on all the books that you have on your Google slide. Once I click on this one, they will be brought to here. They will have to click this one. So we will have to put another link for that. So it's the same shape. And this should be in slide 6. And then apply. Okay, so basically it's just in the logic of linking one slide to another. Of course, you get the link for sharing it to Google Classroom. Okay, make sure anyone can view it. Okay, copy link. Done. So this is just a material. If you want this as a completion of task, then you can assign it as assignment. Add, link, and post it. Now, let's try to check it if the links will work. And make sure to use the present mode. Okay, welcome to third grade virtual library. So, let me just show you. I'm clicking it, but it's not bringing me to any other website because we linked it to itself. Now I want to read this book, A Bad Case of Stripes. Okay, and once they are done, they can click on this, click to complete task, and it will bring them here. So this is just a self-assessment question. And once they click this, they should be brought to the main page. Always make your landing page appealing. You can put more elements to it. Now, let's try another book. This is not a video though, but they can read it from here. And then once they are done, they will click this to complete a task. This one, click here to check your answers. And I put the answer keys in here. But remember, there are other ways to do that as well. Just think out of the box and let's return to the home page okay, let's try another book this one this is just a video there is no task to this but you can go ahead and put any task that you want for this one and click to home and they will be brought back to this one and that's it now if you want to um, check where I got these resources I put the link at the very end of this Google slide presentation. So you can make a copy of this Google slide and you can share this to other teachers as well. You can put your elements, whatever elements you want to put in there. And that's basically it. I hope you learned something new. And if you know of more ways to put tasks or activities in the Google slides, you can comment down below or if you have made any escape rooms as well, you can comment your link down below so we can check it out as well. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye!